after that off-season program, this is more like a gift. To be in fall camp, to be with the guys, eat good, and stay away from 300-yard shuttles, this is like a gift. Welcome to sports. Jemai Webster back here with you. The off-season program the Rainbow Warriors took part in. Still to talk as to why they've been able to maintain a fast pace through two days of fall camp. The team was back on the practice field this morning for session number two. Fighting off the high heat, Rainbow Warriors practiced for a little over two hours, touching up on the basics while also running a few sets. With 20 more practices on their schedule before closing out training camp, one thing was evident. The effort was there. I've told the guys that this, we've had two good, good days. Our whole philosophy is to just win the day, and we won two days. <laughs> If effort has anything to do with it, I'm awfully proud of our guys. We've never worked harder. Oh, I've definitely never worked harder since I've been here. Um, you know, we've grinded it out, and uh, it'll definitely be beneficial for us. It was a great summer for us. Had um, some great workouts and uh, feeling good shape. Um, and yeah, it's looking, lot, looking a lot better already, so yeah, we're ready. Day two of fall camp. Do you feel like you guys capitalized on the opportunity to get better? Oh yeah, very much so. Even though it was a good transition from our uh, summer, our summer training, it's a little bit different, you know, getting football shape, but I think Coach Beamer got us in great condition, in great shape, great condition, so uh, we're loving it. Warriors back on the field tomorrow for day three. They're expected to don the top half of pads. Practice is set to begin at 1.45 in the afternoon.